My name's Adrian Jones and we're here on the Mitsubishi Electric Stand at IEC 2014. If you take a look around, you'll see that the, the focus for Mitsubishi Electric this year is really uh, control room solutions. So we have some very interesting uh, software developments along with our uh, systems integrator and hardware partners. Uh, but we also have some very interesting new products this year as well, aimed specifically at the control room market. Uh, the first of them is um, this product here. Now, uh, this is a uh, retrofit uh, LED uh, cube engine for Mitsubishi's display wall systems. This product is really designed uh, to enable Mitsubishi's customers of the older mercury lamp display wall systems to upgrade to the very latest LED technology. Uh, so these are uh, direct replacement uh, uh, cube engines featuring Mitsubishi's uh, high brightness LED technology which features a, a very uh, unique uh, cooling system for, for the LED source which is air cooled. It's not liquid cooled like uh, some other manufacturers which means it genuinely is uh, zero maintenance and zero maintenance for something like 80,000 to 100,000 hours. So compare that to the average lifespan of a mercury lamp display wall cube of six to ten thousand hours and you can see that there is a huge price uh, saving over the, the the lifetime of your display wall screen by switching to LED um, as well as of course the performance enhancements that that brings to um, and what uh, the, the design of this uh, replacement engine is such that it will fit directly into uh, Mitsubishi's older uh, uh, mercury lamp cubes so uh, this will enable customers to uh, dramatically extend the lifespan of their existing installation installations um, for many, many years to come. 80,000 hours working life, that's about uh, nine years of continuous 24-7 operation. So you can see there will be a huge saving over the lifetime of an installation by switching to the LED technology. And the other new product we have for this year, uh, you can see behind me. Uh, these are uh, brand new LCD panels really designed for high-end, high specification control room applications. Uh, on the left-hand side, we have the L46P one um, and to my right here is the 55 inch version the L55 P1 uh, both these systems as I say are built to a very very high specification uh, they are OPS compatible so very very versatile uh, in operation uh, and can be adapted easily to a wide variety of, of very demanding control room applications um, the third of these products that uh, is here on the stand at uh, IEC 2 2014 um, is a 55 inch display based on the same technology but but with a slightly lighter specification, which is the L55S1. So this would be useful for uh, a customer that, that does need a very high quality uh, LCD panel, but maybe not all of the technologies that the P1 versions will offer. This kind of experience really uh, feeds into the, the product design um, and enables us to have a very, very uh, deep insight into the, the, the problems that are facing end users and customers and enable us to design uh, some of those problems out at a very early stage. Um, and uh, we also understand, of course, the, the need to work closely with, with uh, hardware and uh, systems integrated partners. And some examples of that uh, you can see on the stand this year with uh, companies such as Polymedia, Avilex, uh, we've got uh, some examples with a Maul here as well, um, and uh, a very uh, interesting company from Italy called uh, Naif, who are uh, showing uh, a very advanced um, uh, software uh, platform that's uh, used in conjunction with Mitsubishi hardware. So some very interesting things happening here. Uh, if you have a chance, please come and visit us.